Hello team, I've got one question that I want to give you feedback on from your quizzes this morning, and it's a real classic. Okay, I have to say, this is the one thing in our class we have to get a lot, lot better at, right? It's just rotational symmetry, so you've got 79% for the whole quiz, yet we see on here 47% for a worded question. That tells me we're either not reading the question properly or we're not reading it fully, right? Here's a shape. Jamie claims shape has no order of rotational symmetry but has reflective symmetry. So that's the first thing in our mind. What are we thinking about this? Are we ticking them both off for that? No order of rotational symmetry. We look at that. This little bit here goes and, and says we cannot say rotational symmetry. Does it have reflective symmetry? We are saying here that yes, it does. Okay, we would call that a line of symmetry. Now, that's not enough, right, for us to answer the question fully. It goes through and says, Susan argues that the shape has rotational symmetry because it can spin around once and fit on itself. And this is this case, classic case of there can't be rotational symmetry order one. Okay, so her mathematical logic is incorrect. Because of that, we get to that stage now, and because we've looked at both of them, we know Jamie corrects, Susan is incorrect. Okay, so that's the interpretation. To, to arrive at one answer, we've got to go through the whole of the problem. So there are a lot of people down here, okay, that didn't read the question fully, okay, got drawn in by Susan's logic, which is not mathematical logic, okay. We have now completed uh, a lot of shape and space. Been a really good week. Well done, guys.